weather is killing me. Wait, did you hear that? What was that? Ah! Where the home did that thing come from? <laughs> what the? What? Yo hard, it's coming right for us! Oh, it's a chase Run, Yo hard, run! Hello. I'm the jumping severed head of a young Viking boy. This right here is my leg. This right here is my arm. This is my other arm. This is my torso. Which can only mean we are back to Helmheim Hassel. Last time around, we, we had an interesting situation. Fafnir decided to eat our leg. Fafnir the dragon. And then, what we ended up doing was we shoved... We force-fed him, really. Our arm, in order to withdraw our leg from within, inside of his body. And I asked you guys, would this be considered Vor? And the answers I got were quite interesting. I, I, I learned about the difference between hard Vor and soft Vor. Why? Hey, Bjohan, what does this say? It says, sorry about the mess. You should have been sorry for that like two levels ago, you stupid gate. Hello, friends and foes. Hee <laughs> hee. Aha! Oh, my name is the Allfather, and welcome to another episode of Duty Storm Carnage, where we wreck scrubs and look good doing it. What? What? Oh, what's up with my team today? Why do you guys suck so Shit. badly? <laughs> it, it looks like we're one player short, Allfather. I think Bjorn is AFK. Yeah, who even is that? Uh, his Nick is. I hate this place underscore two. What? I hate this place underscore two is our best healer. And he is AFK? Oh, gosh darn it! Oh, oh man. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll just uh, edit that part out. <laughs> Hugo, Mango, get over here. Hello, all, Father. We were just researching Duty Storm 5 tactics. Hey, did you know that you can maximize your damage output by- Skip! Boring! Don't care! Look, listen! <laughs> I need you two to do the thing. The thing where you fly out and find out stuff like a couple of nerds. What do you want us to find out, Allfather? Find out where I hate this place underscore two is! Haha! <laughs> ho ho! <laughs> did you remember to thank your healer today? Maybe that's what happened. You did not thank your healer, Allfather. Hmm, this place seems a little warmer. That's the mess they were talking about? You ain't gonna see me complain about that. But I will complain about the rain! To home with you, rain! My socks are getting wet! You are never happy, are you, Pesto? Bjohan, my natural habitat is 100 degrees with a hint of sulfur in the air. I don't belong here. Who belongs anywhere, Pesto? Okay. Uh, I thought this was a uh, secret, that, but that's just where we came from, so that's gonna take us back. We have another fast travel here, which is fine. Detach my leg. So you have my leg to do this one, huh? Alright. Well, I'm seeing also a chance that we could probably, um... Well, I guess we'll probably have to open this up first. And then the rest of her body goes over there. How's it going here, buddy? The cool blower. How about that? Alright. Let me guess, you want my leg again? Leg off you go. Get those crazy hops in there. What do we need here? Okay, we got some berries up there. We'll probably have to hit nice. this up first. Blackberries. Right. But something tells me... Oh, you know what we could do? We could probably join leg and arm to get that hop, and then we could also pick Unite. There we go. Oh, we don't even have to do that. Just... Blackberries. Different variety. So, we got blueberries, blackberry, commonly known as bear berry. In the region due to its habits of mauling other berries. Oh. Let's see if there is anything up about here. Mmm. Maybe, yeah. Oh, 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 that's what's up. Oh, boys. Look at that. Oh, more berries. What do we got here? Hopefully, we don't need a head to discuss, though. Oh, great. Another friend without a face. Hey, can you hear me? Go away. I'm sick of featureless friends. <laughs> the cave people continue, huh? Now, the problem is we don't have our head here to speak to her, so... Uh, I think we might be able to bring the head along with this. Yeah, yeah, the, the head all has to do is just bite onto this body that we've made here. So I guess we could do this still. Letter found. 23. Oh, and speaking of which, we have to also go back, because now we can get that uh, scroll from early, now that we have the crazy hops. Anyway. 
I try to help Har Harold hide his gold, but there's so much of it, I suggested he had changed the gold for soul coins. He agreed to sell gold for hell for 30 soul coins. That gold was worth at least 60, so she jumped at the offer. That way, we earned some gold, and he could hide his treasure easier. Who says I'm crazy? Crazy smart, maybe. Ho ho! Only problem is that hell immediately ruined everything by spending all the gold on more frozen lava. Hell! Hell, why? Oh, that's the wrong one. Why? There are barely any Vikings left. And if any of them are gonna try and save any of the three souls down here, more frozen lava ain't gonna stop them. Ugh. I guess I shouldn't be angry. So angry with her. She seems so happy I have a friend. I'm Stony. Oh, wanna hang out? Uh, I haven't hung out with anyone for so long. We can stand around and talk about our horoscopes. Sorry, I don't have time to hang out right now, Stony. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you. We're hanging out right now. Bjorn, what the home are we doing here? We want to check out what's behind the gate. Well, I'm not opening this gate. You'll just take the treasure and leave. Then who will I discuss horoscopes with? Hey, Stony. Did you read us leaving in your horoscope? Cause we are. Oh snap! Your Saint Hammer party! Oh, guess I should let you through after what you did for my father. Are you sure we can't hang out though? We can talk about Mercury being in retrograde! Sorry, Stony. Maybe later. Man, look at this. Like that thing that we did in the start of the games, like giving us all these options later on. I was told that. I should try to be nice to everybody, really, for the best benefits, which is, um, not what we did with the goblin that we decided to blow up. But wait! There's more! Hey, this stone seems friendly. Why don't you hang out with it? Oh, I have tried, but it's really hard to hang out with someone without a face. Where do I look? Hmm. Okay, that's gonna be our quest here with Stony then. I guess we find a mark or something, come back here and draw a friend for Stony, huh? Alright. For now, though, let's see what type of treasure you're holding. I guess it'll probably be another Hell Coin, right? Oh. Or Soul Coin, whatever. That's her second one. Okay. Oh, that's weird. I don't think I got the option to talk to him the first time we passed through. Now we have. Okay. Hey. Shut up, mate! Can you see we're working, mate? This is a mess, mate! What are you doing? Everything is messed around here, mate. Everything is messed, mate. For some reason, this place is all warmer than the other areas, mate. So it won't snow here, mate. What a mess, mate. Balder insists this place should be covered in snow, mate, to deliver the full Helheim experience, mate. This fake snow can't withstand the rain, so like I said, it's a mess, mate. Not to mention the crazy lady called Erica Explosion Face, or whatever her name is, mate. She's a mess, mate. Keeps bothering everybody that's trying to work here, mate. Battle me here, embrace me there. We don't have time, mate. What a mess, mate! Have I mentioned it's a mess, mate? Because it's a mess, mate. Okay. Good, uh, good luck with that. Mess! Mate! <laughs> is he Australian or something? Hurry up, Johan. This weather is killing me. Wait, did you hear that? What was that? Ah, where the home did that thing come from? <laughs> What the? Johard, it's coming right for us! Oh, it's a run, chase Johard, run! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Look at the oh. size of that thing! But there's berries Why up there! Why am I running, Pesto? I'm already dead! There are fates worse than death, Bjorn! Well, I guess we're gonna find out what that is right now, aren't we? Oh no! Oh. It got you, Bjorn! That would be a bad outcome. Oh man, <laughs> it's so... Oh no! It got you, Bjorn! I had priorities. I needed that those berries. Would be a bad outcome. Okay, run, 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 run. Got it this time. I had to get the berries first. Oh, no, another one. Oh, no, I need to, like... I think I need to... Ah, oh, jeez. Not gonna make it. Like, hurry up. Ah! Okay, so we opened that up and we jumped. There's a scroll up here, so we need arms easily. And that, too. Okay, oh, there's this as well. Uh, so what do I need here? I'm out of here, Bjorn. Good luck getting mauled. Okay. Take an arm too. Can I get up there? I can get up here. Okay, and then you do this. Perfect. Unite. Up Mass here, travel. There, Slayer. Hurry. Oh. Oh, I'm safe. 
Oh boy. Can somebody tell me why the home? We got chased by a gosh darn bear? That thing was a bear? Of course it was a bear. Don't you recognize a bear when you see one? Bear slayer. That thing was no normal bear, Pesto. It was floating and stuff. Maybe it was the ghost of that bear you ruthlessly killed, Bear Slayer. Stop calling me Bear Slayer, Pesto. It was an accident. The important thing is that it's gone now. You must avoid that thing at all costs. It seemed pretty dangerous. I will. Thanks for helping us again, Anthony. Now, pull yourself together and pursue your dream. It's what Bear John Johnson would do. Believe in yourself, Bear Slayer. Thanks for the pep talk, Anthony. See you later. How come he gets to call you Bear Slayer and I don't? He has a car. Ah. Okay. So now we should be able to go back without a hassle to grab the stuff that I guess I should probably ignore the first time around, huh? Number 35. Bad news bears, Mom and I crunched the numbers and the funding we got from Asgard is nowhere near what we need to build activities all the way from the gate to the city. That's no fair. Why did they have to give me hope and then tear it away? It was hands down the worst feeling ever. Way worse than dying. Mom saw that I was soaking and tried to cheer me up, but it was her fault too. If only she hadn't spent all the money we ever earned on stupid pointless frozen lava. But I didn't say that because I was too bummed to talk. She says she might have a plan. If her plan involves frozen lava, I'm gonna lose it. And I don't even have much of it left to lose at this point. What do you even open up? Hmm, I don't know, but... More berries here we should be able to grab. There's a secret, there's a door right here. Yeah. So, we gotta hit that switch up there to open this up over here. It's gonna be a secret. Alright, let's get to the bottom Whoa. of this here. Got this going down. Uh, you know what this could be? This could probably be the way to get, um... Stodia Friend. So I have that quest to complete here. We go down through there, we got... Hmm, those symbols again. And a chest. Could be another silk coin. Not again. Okay, ooh. Thanks for a great battle, Erica! I'll make sure to find you again and the next time I try to save my dad from this place. P.S. I miss my teeth. Eric Bloodaxe. Came to save my father. Now my ribs are broken. 10-10 would battle again. Hack on TG. Ow, my throat. Gutorm. Erica, leave me alone. I'm busy hiding treasure. H.F.H. I feel like I'm missing a lot of these references right now. This is my secret hideout to get out of here. Unless you're a Viking who wants to battle or compete in various adrenaline inducive activities, in which the case, come find me in the tree canopy above the goblin coblin garbage by the main gate to Helheim. Let's spill some blood. You can access the canopy by messing around with that colossal robot thingy, Baphomet? Belrophon, Behigab, whatever. See you there. Bring teeth so I can knock him out. Erica Thundermust. Hmm. Oh. Well, can't access this yet, then. Okay, so I gave this the old college try here a bit off camera. I can't figure it out. Like, I tried, like, going one at a time and then seeing this to see, because it gives you that red beeping. So I'm thinking, is there, like, an order you have to do it in? Find the proper order? That didn't work. Um, then I started looking at what's in the wall here, because I imagine that's got to be connected to it in some way. We have this that matches that, and we have that that matches this. This is a little bit more lighter of a yellow. This is more of an orange, but still. Um, and then we have blue and red, which is not here. The symbols are there, but not the color. The only difference between this here in the wall and this is that, the straight one, which is not there. So, I don't know. I, I'm gonna leave it for later right now. It's not really clicking. Go ahead and run! Run home and cry to mama! Oh god, it's Fafnir again. Oh no, not him again. Let me guess. You want us to pay you to pass again? As a matter of fact, I already got paid. Ha! Who was dumb enough to give money to a stupid frog? Some bear that was just here gave me a bunch of coin to kill this squirt. Wait, whoa, what? Did you just say a bear paid you to kill Beoharn? When the home did this become a drama all of a sudden? I'm sure we can come to an agreement, Fafnir. We already had. Good night, squirt. Fafnir, wait, no! Hmm. 
Maybe that really is the ghost of that bear that we killed. how your body works. Listen, Bjorn, that frog hit you so gosh darn hard, your body parts flew all over the place. You've got to find them, and we have to get the home out of here. I think that freaky bear paid the frog to kill you, which is super messed up. This whole thing is very traumatizing for me. We have to get to Viking Hell ASAP. I ain't getting mauled by a ghost bear just to keep my job. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going inside, because I still can't feel my legs. First things first, I've got to try and focus on my head and my other arm. Gotta see where they are. Oh yeah, you can't feel your your legs. What about me? They're gone completely. Use R to find my limbs? What the? Oh. Who hung my head on the wall? Hey, our wall decoration speaks. That really adds the edge this place needed. Please take me down. No way. You really tie this place together. You're staying up there, zombie. This is too boring, even for me. Ugh, don't be sad, zombie. You're bumming out the customers. I tell you what, since you're technically an employee, you can have free drinks. How's that sound? I recommend the goblin wine, but stay away from the troll wine. That stuff will knock your knickers right off your knuckles. Eh, uh, not that you have any of those. Don't talk to that thing, Betty. It blew my tower <gasps> to smithereens. You never know what it's up to. Oh, thanks for the heads up, Henry Bald. <sighs> Keep no. the goblin wines coming, Camilla Beth. Oh, I'll help myself. It came back to bite me in the ass. See, had we helped that guy and not blew him up, maybe things would have been different right now. Can I have a... Don't talk to it, Betty. Thanks, Henry Bald. I almost forgot. Chugging another goblin wine. Hmm. Don't tell my wife. She left you after the incident, remember? I remember. Henry, do you mind? Shut up, horrible severed head too. <laughs> you blew up my tower with all my sleeping meds in it. How will I ever sleep again? Chugging another goblin wine. Don't tell my wife. She left you after the incident, remember? I remember. So he's only drinking the goblin, not the troll one. And the barrel's over there, so we gotta do maybe like a switcheroo or something here at some point or another. Okay, well, our head's here. Let's find out where the rest of the stuff's at. Chugging. My arm is for sale in a store? <sighs> maybe I can buy it back. Well, we do have some coins. There is that. I wanna buy my leg. Oh, my leg's not even around. Where's my leg at? Life's just gone. Oh, did Fafni read my legs again? Okay. Is this where my arm is for sale? Yes. All right. Let's see. What Hello, can we do? and welcome to Stone Mart. Because only an N separates a stone from a store. N, we would love to have you. My name is Stonever, and I will be your clerk today. Oh. You must be one of those silent protagonists. That's okay. I'm used to those. He's, uh, missing a head at the moment. Oh, well, here at Stone Mart, we're all about customer satisfaction. I have a brush and a notebook on the floor there for when you want to talk without words. Just write any questions you have about our products on the notebook, and I'll answer you as well as I can. Oh, the chalk! I wonder if this is where you buy the chalk for Stony in the cave. Balloon, t-shirt, tuna? Maybe the tuna. Alright, let's ask about this chalk for Are you sick of your property vandalization being interrupted by annoying things like running from the law and the possibility of death? Try a piece of chalk. For a reasonable price, you can draw anything anywhere, and no one will care. Yep, so that's what we need for stone. It's gonna be 40, huh? We don't have enough, though. Damn. Okay. We'll keep it in the back of our head, though. What about the arm? Are you sick of things being out of arm's reach? Try an extra arm. For the small price of basically free, you can charm with this disarming arm. Cause what's the harm? Buy an arm! <sighs> well... Do you think we need to buy it, or is there probably another way to get around? 
So I want to save up to buy the chalk as well. well. Let's learn about the other items. Are you all dressed up with nowhere to go? Start your own party by buying what is essentially breath in a bag. Stone Mart. The only thing that makes less sense than our inventory is our prices. <laughs> 60 for that one, wowie. Are your clothes just too gosh darn comfy? Help the environment through your personal suffering. Buy a hemp <laughs> t-shirt. Organic, grass-fed, gluten-free t-shirts. We got them. 60 as well. Are you sick and tired of eating fresh things? Try a can of tuna. It is so processed, it has its own photo filter. Hey, I happen to love tuna in a can, all right? We have a passage here. Ooh, ooh. Pick up sleeping pills. Ooh. All right. Well, oh, God. <laughs> I could slap this man, too. Now, I wonder if we could use these for... Oh, we see we can't go up there. <laughs> hey. Wake up! This work. Type pin. Oh, I don't got a pin. So we need the pin to open that up for the scroll, and then we need more body parts to do that? Okay. Alright, let's just go ahead and bite the bullet and buy that freaking arm. Arming yourself with this charming arm will make all your arm-related activities considerably more convenient. Arms. They're like claws, but better. Alright. Well. Goodbye at least we got now. this part. Might be able to get it up to... That, right? But it's we can't... It's not breaking and entering if I don't break anything. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I stumbled onto something. Um, my arm isn't gonna get stuck here, is it? Alright. Oh, no, it's not. We have a spring. Cool. What do we got here? Oh. <sighs> Oops. Ah, <sighs> we need the head. Okay. Anything from you? No. Ooh, I wonder if this is a place... Oh, we got a scroll at least. Hiring goblins was the best idea ever. Yes, okay, they're terrible at building puzzles, but at least they are here and they are people. I can't remember the last time I saw a person, so that already makes them the best thing since push-ups. Most of them aren't interested in being friends, but one of them is awesome, and he's my new best friend. I don't think I'll, I'll ever had a best friend before, except Mom. She's my best friend too, of course. Now I have two best friends. My new friend's name is Ramsey, and we like the same stuff. He sucks at building stuff, so I was just like, hey, Ramsey. Did you work and come hang out with me? And he was like, Oh yeah. And then I was like, Yeah, 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 this is so awesome. Best day ever. <laughs> I guess there's a little dude on his um shoulder all the time, huh? Alright. Well, we found something. For now though, let's go get those sleeping pills. Alright, we got the sleeping pills. Hold up. Before we do that though, let's see about. Please, Muddy. No. We got an edgy poster though. Hm. Edgy poster? It's a quest item. It says, Goblin wine is classy, which means I've been classy since Friday. They're clearly not paying their slogan, their slogan writers enough for this stuff. I guess we might need it for this as well. I'm keeping an eye on you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Give sleeping pills. Just straight up like that? Sleeping pills? For me? Thank you, horrible severed head tooth, horrible severed arm. <laughs> Finally, I can sleep again. Forget about the screams. Oh. Oh, you can also get the edgy post. Sure. Hey, ma'am. Uh, what if you hung up this super edgy poster instead of my boring old head? Let's see. A poster that says, Goblin wine is classy. Which means I've been classy since Friday. Oh, ho, ho. That is edgy. You got yourself a deal, zombie. Get down from there so we can hang this up. Mmm, now that's what I call edgy. Thanks, zombie. You're welcome. I'm going now. All right. Now that I'm armed and ahead, I should try and focus on my legs. Unfortunately, we're way over time. I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next one, and we shall try to get the rest of her body together. We have to find our torso and legs still.